If you're an author who wants to use your book to grow your business, then this episode is a must for you. Hi, this is Jyotsna Ramachandran, the founder and CEO of Happy Self Publishing. In this episode of Author Success Show, we are going to talk about the best reader magnet you can have inside your book. But before talking about what a reader magnet is and some of the great examples, let me tell you what typically happens to a book. Now, let's say you've created this fantastic book packed with value, you're promoting it like crazy, and you are actually selling a lot of copies. What happens then is that your reader would probably read your book, they will get a lot of value from that, they would probably even take a lot of notes as action points, but after they finish reading your book, they, for they forget about you and your business because they look at a book as a separate entity and not many people know even know what your business is so your business is a different entity but your job as an author is to tie both of these together and that can only be done through a reader magnet in one of my previous episodes i've spoken about an author funnel if you really want to use your book to grow your business your book needs to be a part of your author funnel now in that video, I would have explained how a book is right on top of your author funnel and once somebody reads your book, they should know about all the free things that you have like your podcast, then they should know about your paid programs like your course and finally your premium value which is your one-on-one -on -one coaching or something that's really a high ticket offer. So that's your author funnel. But here is the missing link in the author funnel which is your reader magnet. Now just because somebody reads your book does not mean they will immediately start following your work on social media, start following your blog, podcast or YouTube channel. It doesn't work that way. Some people would but most people will not and that's why you need to have a way to capture leads of all the people who are reading your book. The unfortunate thing is that Amazon is not going to tell you who your readers are. They are not going to give you the list of the names and emails of all the people who bought your book. Even if you end up selling millions of copies, your readers are not going to be connected with you. So your job as an author is to make sure you collect the leads on your own. And the best way to do that is to give a reader magnet inside your book. A reader magnet is basically a lead magnet, similar to the lead magnets you have on websites, where you're giving a valuable thing for free and in exchange you're asking for somebody's name and email. That's exactly what you should be doing inside your book as well. Your book should have reader magnets in multiple places so that your readers don't miss out on that. If a reader is genuinely interested in the topic of your book and whatever you're teaching, they will not miss out on the opportunity of getting this content upgrade which is your reader magnet. So what can be good examples of a reader magnet? Let me tell you some of the ideas that I have seen work for my clients. The first one is an action guide. Now if your book is like a step-by-step -step guide to achieve some result, then it's important that your readers also take action with every step that you teach. So give a nicely designed PDF as an action guide which is downloadable. So let people click the link in your book, go and download your action guide and start taking action while reading your book. The second one could be an audiobook. A lot of authors publish their audiobook along with the other formats and I highly recommend that you do that as well. There will be some people who will go to Audible and buy your audiobook, but for the others, give away the audiobook for free inside your ebook and inside your paperback. The advantage of this is that people can actually listen to you while reading the book and that can have a huge impact in building a good connection with you who is the author. So give away your audiobook. The third thing could be a, a simple resource list or a, if it's a cookbook or something it could be a shopping list. So make a list of all the resources that the reader would need in order to take the next step after your book and just make it easy for them by putting it in a simple one page PDF. The next reader magnet could be like a swipe file. For example, if you're showing some great ways to write copy inside your email or uh, how to run effective Facebook campaigns, then probably you have all the copies of the things that have worked for you. Put them all together as a swipe file and give it away to your readers. The next thing which I'm a huge fan of are assessments or quizzes. So a lot of people like to take these fun quizzes which won't take more than 2-3 minutes of their time to fill out. So make a list of let's say 8 to 12 questions and at the end of the assessment people should know where they stand and they should also know what should be their next step based on their score. So design this nice quiz, you can use any of these uh, quiz softwares or form filling softwares and that can help you build your reader magnet. 
the other reader magnet could be a consultation call with you now if you're planning to use your book as a way to generate leads for your coaching business then let people fill out an application form which is the reader magnet they get an opportunity to get on a 30 minute consultation call with you or a member of your team this can be a great way to qualify your clients and then make them sign up and the final example i would like to share with you are webinars or video series now while reading your book your reader is already kind of connected with you because they've spent four to six hours reading your book but then they can develop a different level of connection when they actually see you and people would love to do that. So inside your book, talk about a free three-part video series or a, or a short 45-minute webinar which people can get free access to. So let them click the link, go and access your videos and at the end of the video, you can tell them what can be the next step. So these are some reader magnet ideas which work brilliantly for a lot of business books and self-help books. So make sure you have these reader magnets right at the front of the book then again at the back of the book and also somewhere in the middle of the book so that there is no chance that people will miss out on your free content. This is how you can use your book to generate leads and then once people are part of your ecosystem, then you introduce them to all the amazing things that you do, your other free stuff like your podcast and your videos and your blog or whatever. Keep giving them more and more value every week through your email newsletters. Invite them over to your Facebook group. Let them enjoy all the good stuff that you do. And then finally, at some point when they are ready to upgrade themselves, they will move up the ladder. They will be willing to pay and start seeking your products and services. I hope you found this episode on reader magnets useful. Let me know in the comments which do you think would be the perfect reader magnet for your book. If you want to learn more from me, make sure you attend our next bootcamp that happens inside Happy Authors Tribe, our Facebook group. So go ahead and check out happyselfpublishing.com forward slash tribe. It will take you over to our Facebook group and you can be a part of our tribe. Or if you're already ready to get started with your book project, then do schedule a call with our publishing consultants. Head over to happyselfpublishing.com and make sure you book your call at the earliest. I'll see you in the next episode of Author Success Show. Until then, happy authoring.